BBC Radio 2 presenter Zoe Ball, 52, apologized to comedian Alan Carr, 46, earlier this month for a rather embarrassing drunk dialing incident. The BBC star admitted that she had been appalled by the message as she appeared on Alan's Life Say Beach podcast. Zoe started by thanking Alan for having her on the show, before immediately asserting that she needed to apologize. She then proceeded to explain how she felt mortified after sending him an offensive message while inebriated a number of years ago when he was living in Manchester. I must apologize, she said. If we go a few years back, and I have always felt so guilty about this, I have a friend called Al Carr and I called him somewhat inebriated, she continued. And left quite an offensive message. It was very offensive, Alan confirmed lightheartedly. Zoe said, and I, was like, why do you sound so weird? Alan jokingly chimed in, imitating Zoe speaking to her ex-husband Norman Cook, otherwise known as Fatboy Slim, yelling, Norman. Norman, listen to Al's voice. Don't miss. Rolf Harris' final words to daughter just before he died, news, Tina Turner's health woes in years leading up to her death, insight, Tina Turner looks frail in final public photos before singer's death, news, why do you sound like that? Zoe continued, as Alan added, it's very high-pitched. Alan explained, so I woke up to this message in the morning thinking, oh I've got a message from Zoe Ball, that must be nice. But then she's saying, here. Why do you sound like that? Are you on helium? A mortified Zoe continued, I don't know if I realized on the call or if it was afterwards. Alan confirmed, no you didn't, because you texted me a very sweet text saying, Alan I am deleting your number from my phone, don't be offended. As Alan burst into laughter, Zoe added, I was so appalled. Anyway, my dear friend Al has dined out on that story for a long time. She also thanked Alan for still accepting me on your airline as he insisted it was so funny. Please accept my apology, I have changed, she said later on before Alan confirmed she had been forgiven. Listen to the whole episode of Alan Carr's Life's Beach on streaming platforms now.